one. On this video, I want to share with you some nails I did for October on this passing month to celebrate Halloween. I wanted to do one nail design a day using this plate I have with like this little ghosts and doing one different design per day. So I want to share a little bit of the experience while I show you here the videos that I shared on Shorts and Instagram so you can follow along. It was a really cool experience. I don't post every day. I don't have a fixed schedule. So it was really different for me to have to plan to keep this commitment and make sure I would have time to do my nails, film them, edit, and plan the posting for all the 31 days. And it was also really interesting from a creative perspective because since I was going to have a post every day, I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be repetitive and it wasn't going to be the same old, same old every day. So I ended up experimenting a little more than I'm used to with techniques, like with the stamping, with combining nail polishes and colors, and even with the, let's say, production design of things, with the pictures and the videos, how I could do different things with them. Like they choose a perfect example there with the bubbles. That's definitely a highlight for me, and it wasn't as easy as I expected. Uh, thankfully, my boyfriend helped me. I would not be able to capture them in video and in pictures by myself. But it was cool to step out of my comfort zone in that sense of this is not something I would usually do. I would just do the nails and take like straight up pictures. So I was like, no, let me try to do something a little more out of the box than what I'm used to. I also like day 13 in that sense. That one was Spider-Man nails and I took the pictures with the comic books I have. I thought it looked great, like it visually looks so beautiful, and it's also not something I would usually have done. On the actual nails, something I like doing and that I intend to do more is doing like a pattern. Day 4 is a good example here, and also day 10 I think is the best example of this, where I kind of have a background where it's not just the nail polish color, but also some sort of design. On this one I did with, this is actually not a dotting tool, I actually did stamp the dots, the polka dots, and on day 10 is kind of like a, looks like clothing pattern, and it's not something I usually do as well. And it's really cool to either have just that, or have that as your background and then stamping on top of it. So definitely something I intend to do in the future. And lastly but not least, another highlight for me was day 5 because I got to include my cats on the photo shoot because it was a little kitty ghost, so I wanted to try and have them. It's who has cats knows. It wasn't as easy to try to include them, but I did my best and I'm really happy to have them in the pictures with me. On some days, some other techniques I experimented with was also using different colors. I don't usually do like Skittle manicures and I did that on, for example, day 11 and I also stamped with different colored polishes. So not only the background, it's all Skittle, but then the stamping is kind of a Skittle as well. That was really nice. It fit the team a lot because it was kind of psychedelic and kind of 60s. So I thought that looked good. Another thing for me to try and branch out and try more not have like all nails be the same color and just stamping on top of that. Another fun aspect for me was picking the songs. I don't know how many of you guys watch shorts or reels with the sound on and if you notice like the songs that are in the background, but I tried to pick song that made sense with the ghost, with the theme, and that was kind of like fun in a way. So for example, here on day seven, since the ghost is eating a pizza, I chose a song that is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because they eat a lot of pizza. So hopefully that made sense. Again, I don't know how many of you guys actually listened to it. And I can't play them here on the video because due to copyright, I can only use it on short format. But at the start of each of the little videos, you can see at the top, the name of the song that was associated with it. So I was really proud of that. I that I was able to keep it going for 31 days and find songs that would match. Out of the 
31 nails that I did. Each one I liked for one specific reason. They all have their pros. But if I had to pick like my favorite, I think thinking of the color combination between the polish and the stamping polish, the theme of the ghost with the song and the colors, I think day 28 was the most perfect one. It was the one with the butterflies. I just love how that one turned out. I really want to do it again with that color and that stamping polish because it was so beautiful, so delicate. And also days 23 and 24 where I used some thermal polishes. They also, I think, came out very beautiful manicures. For the stamping themselves, I think for this like reverse stamping technique, day 7, which was the one we just watched with the pizzas, can't be beat. I really tried hard coloring in all those pizzas, making sure each ingredient was the right color and it was its own little color. And I was super proud of the final result, especially because it was one of the first days. So I was still getting the hang of the reverse stamping. And I think it came out, honestly, like perfect. The pieces look so good. And I was really proud. Lastly, I think it was also a speed learning in terms of editing the short format videos and seeing them all together here. Really, I think it's noticeable, the improvement. Each day I try to optimize and improve on something and I think when you see them all together like this and you compare like the first one with the last one, I think you can see like the zoom and how much I linger on a shot, what I show, what I don't show. It's really something I try to improve on. I hope it's noticeable and I hope I did improve. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I tried to look at other creators I like and what they were doing and try to be as close to that as possible and again be a little bit better every day and try to improve a little bit which is usually something I would do like posting once a week it wouldn't be as fast of a learning curve as it is when you're having to post every day and edit little videos every day I hope for those that watched along during the month that you guys liked it and if you didn't that you like this retrospective style format of video here uh, I'd love to know which little ghost was your favorite. That was something really fun throughout the month. I would have some of my friends that follow me. They would say, oh my god, I love the Sailor Moon ghost. Or I love the one with the raincoat and the color changing polish. So I'd love to hear from you guys if there's something that could have been improved, something that could be better, what was good, what wasn't. And I really do appreciate it. I like every view, every like, every comment. It was a really positive response throughout the month. I'm so, so happy. I like truly from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you guys for following along. Thank you for watching this video. I'll leave you guys to the rest of the month of ghosts. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.